hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel please do not forget to subscribe to your gal please do subscribe to your girl so as you can see but it's titled below i just want to show you how to do your assignment one of dbr 3704 right so you got your questions i know the assignment says you should create a blog site and write all your answers on your blog site but what i advise you to do right now is to write all your answers on your word document make sure it's your final edited answers then later on you're going to convert them into a pdf i'm saying this because i don't want you to be making mistakes while writing and editing your answers online on your website so that will be, you know, easy, right? Copy and paste. So I recommend you use a Wix website simply because it's simple to edit and maneuver. Sites like Simple Site, it's also easy, but it expires soon. Hence, some people previously got 0% max because of their expired links, meaning the links were invalid. I also won't recommend wait website because it's kind of like hard to edit. Well, it was hard for me, but if you prefer it, it's okay. But I don't think I'll be able to help you because it also confuses me. So we're going to search create Wix website or you can say www.wixie.com. So I already typed my create a Wixie website vibe. So we're just going to giggle. So you're going to locate the Wixie website, wixie.com and tap on it. Get started. What is your website for? It is for the NGO or you can type in NPO and then you proceed. And then choose create a blog. The name of your organization. Obviously, you're going to type in your organization's name, but I'm just going to say DBR3704 because I'm trying to show you how to create a website. And then where are you located? Please fill in your physical address, not what I'm doing right now, not just a province, but your physical address. Is your business already online? No. So tap in on that skip at the top. And then there is your profile semi ready. You see the plus sign, you're going to attach your picture there. And then there is an email address. Please attach your, what is this? Your business email address yes and then your phone numbers and then at the bottom is the social media accounts i i, I believe at this point you have your social media accounts ready your business social media accounts and then you're just gonna paste the links there facebook instagram twitter and youtube and then you're good to go basically so it's easy guys so just paste your links there and then i chose the youtube logo because well this profile is just to show you how you do this thing and then we have like the you see my profile picture there and then we do have like beautiful themes there and then you're just gonna choose any color you love i love black so i choose black because well black is a color yeah man you're We're gonna build a side, tap on that, build a side. A real work is about to start. And then there is your preview of the website. So at the end of the day, when you are done editing, your website will look like that. Like I said, please make sure that um, you are done with your answer so that you can just copy and paste. That will be easier for you. You see now, I did tap on the about. So on the about, you can, um, edit your whatever that you see there you can edit according to your questions let's say maybe the question they want your online reputation of your business and then your title will be online reputation and then on the description you're gonna write your answers just like that just like that then you are done with you know maybe the first question and then on the second question you're gonna type on the um what the second slide and then do the edit you see the person who's holding a book you can still change like the background picture into whatever that you want but at this point i'm just using the youtube logo because well i prefer to use it now just to show you how you do your editing right now i'm just scrolling down the website to see what is what because i just want you to also familiarize yourself with the with the website 
familiarize yourself at all times with the website and please make sure please 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 and i beg you make sure that you see those things on your right side of your screen the blue things make sure that you do activate them you put them on because if you do not your lecturer won't be able to see your social media links your phone numbers your email address so please make sure that they are turned on so that you know everybody who visits your website will be able to see that if you do not obviously they're not going to be able to locate what your social media business social media accounts so yeah okay let's see you see my online repeat what am i doing right now you know i'm just all over the place i don't know if it is me or if it's the network but that's easy guys that's easy and then you see there are some of the things that you won't need on your website just tap on that and make sure that you deactivate you just remove them remove everything that you don't want there then whatever gives back, whatever, if you do not need that, please remove. And then you see the plus sign, the, plus, the black plus sign, tap on that and then to edit your answers. Tap on that to edit your answers. That's when you're going to find options to um, fill in your title and then your descriptions. And whatever that you don't need on your um, website, please just remove that. So that's easy. You see what I've shown you, the header, your header, you need to make sure that those things are activated, those blue things are activated. The email address, please turn it on. The business name, please turn it on. The phone numbers, turn them on and whatever. So so that, like I said, so that everyone who visits your website will be able to see them. At this point, I believe that we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. And then when you are done, you're going to tap on the publish when you are done so if you have your answers ready by 30 minutes you'll be done with your website and then with the you see the s section this is where you do everything you add your missions you add your about us your welcome your whatever i don't know what the questions are saying right now but this is where you're gonna do and then you can change all those things the welcome you can change it to your mission your about you can change it to your reputation your project you can change it to your blog your news you can change them to your um, your annual events yeah and then about the issue of a link please on this website it's so easy to actually get your link so when you are done you're gonna publish your website and when you are done publishing on the search box on the search box at the top there when you are done please copy that link that is your website link on the search box at the top just publish your website and then on the search box at the top there that is your what that is your website link and make sure that you do test it make sure that you copy it and then paste it on another phone or on another device to see if it is working and that is your and then you're good to go so and you can still come next time and log in and do some edits especially for the second assignment you can still do that on your second assignment and then do the same process like i showed you for the assignment one so yeah i think i'm done i think i did my best to explain this